five, four, three, two, one. A rocket engine produces thrust by forcing hot combustion gas through a nozzle. The thrust allows the rocket to lift a payload through the atmosphere and into space. Most rocket engines used today are designed to either use one solid propellant mixture, like a firework, or two highly reactive liquids, like the Apollo program moon rocket. We chose to develop a hybrid rocket engine, which combines the advantages of both solid and liquid designs. We chose a combination of solid paraffin wax as our fuel, and liquid nitrous oxide as our oxidizer. We designed a feed system as well as a combustion chamber to contain the reaction and supply hot gas to the nozzle to ultimately produce thrust. The feed system uses a series of valves and tanks to deliver the nitrous oxide to the combustion chamber at high pressure. We developed three PCBs for this project, an engine controller with a mounted TNC 3.6 starter board, a high power relay board, and a switchboard. We also use Raspberry Pis and Odroid C2s to capture sensor data, interface with cameras, and to facilitate long-distance communication, enabling autonomous data capture and safe remote controlling of the project. The TNC 3.6 was chosen for the flight controller for its versatility. The ADCs on the TNC were used to read pressure transducer data as well as monitor the battery charge. SPY was implemented using the GPIO pins to read temperature data from thermocouples. The GPIO pins were also used to actuate valves and enable voltage regulators, and the hardware serial ports were used for RS-422 communications. Overall, many of our subsystems worked perfectly, laying a foundation for future teams to work off of. We hope that our work has sparked an interest in continuing rocketry research and development here at RET.